So let's get our bands out. Now, you guys are gonna notice that we have five, I'm gonna back up a little. Okay, we have five different bands, right? So, and you're gonna notice that they're a little thicker. Our black one is gonna be the, the hardest one to use, okay? So this is like, whoa, I really wanna work out my muscles. We are not gonna use this one today because this is the first time we're using them and it's a little too much. So you can put the black one away. Our next one is red. That's the second hardest one, okay? So it's not quite as tough as black, but it's close. We're also gonna put that one away. We'll use that at a next workout. And then we have blue, yellow, and green, okay? So green is gonna be our easiest one. If you notice, it's the thinnest and it's gonna be the easiest to pull. And then our yellow is gonna be the second easiest. So we're gonna use those two because you know, we gotta use yellow, right? It has to happen. So we're gonna use the yellow one when we do a leg workout and we're gonna use the green one when we put it on our arms, okay? And I'll remind you this as we go. Raise your hand if you've ever worked out with resistance bands before. I have not. Nice, okay, make sure, Charlotte, make sure you mute yourself, honey. Um, okay, so I have a few people who have, a few people who have not. Here's the great part about resistance bands, is you're getting a really full workout because you're resisting against it, right? And that means it's causing your muscles to work the entire time. So this is a really great way to work out if you don't have weights. Even if you do have weights, it's a different type of workout where our muscles just work the whole time. So we don't have to do as long of a workout because we're getting a really great workout in. So first, I want everybody to grab your yellow one, okay? And we're gonna do two really great stretches. And these stretches are gonna help us before we uh, work out, whatever our workout is, but they're also gonna be really great running exercise uh, stretches. Okay, so I want you to put your hands inside. See how I did that? Good. And then put your arms straight up and have a nice base so you can spread your legs like hip width distance. And then just push your arms apart and stretch to the side. We're getting a really good stretch down our arms, down our side, down our back, and then go to the other side. Great. Then you can also, if you want to grab it on the outside and pull it over so you can really pull yourself down. If you're feeling more flexible, you can do that. We're just going to go to the left and to the right a couple times and really stretch our whole upper body, stretch our spine. We've been sitting in the chairs a lot more than normal. So you really want to stretch that. Okay, everybody go up nice and tall and let's bring it all the way down to our feet. Okay, shake it out and bring it back up. Okay, we're going to go back down to our feet one more time. But this time, as we're standing, I want you to put the ball of your foot in the band. Okay, see how I did that? And then keep your foot on the ground. And let me see if you can see my foot. Then we're gonna just grab this and pull our toe toward us. Okay, I'm gonna show you up here so you can see. We're gonna stretch our calf muscle. That's super important when we're running, right? So you're gonna keep your foot on the ground and just lift the toes up and try and pull it up towards you. Really nice job. And if you can pull it, you can bend down a little more. That's really gonna give you a good stretch up your leg. This is such a good stretch for running. Now, put your toe down, take the band out. I'm gonna turn to this side. Put it on your opposite foot. Now look where I have it. Whoa, <laughs> careful of your balance. I have it on the ball of my foot, okay? So that I can pull my toes up and get that really great stretch. And if you can bend over towards your toes, go ahead. If you can't, it's okay. Just keep pulling your toe up. Nice. Okay, go ahead and let it go. And shake it up. Everybody shake it out. Okay, are we ready? Let's get this going. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna work out our upper body. We're gonna work out our lower body. And you know, we're gonna work out our core. So I'm gonna give you two exercises for each one. If we have time, 
We might try and go through them one more time, but I'm thinking we might only get through them once. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, put your yellow one to the side for right now and grab your green one, okay? Because we're gonna do our arms here. Now I'm gonna turn to the side so everybody can see what I'm doing. Put both your arms in and put it around your wrist. See how they're on my wrist like this? Okay, so they're not on my hands, they're on the wrist. Put your arms out nice and straight. And then I want you to have your legs hip width distance apart and pull that belly button in, okay? So we're standing up nice and tall. And then we're just gonna pretend like we're gonna try and break it. And push it apart and slowly come back in. Okay, we're gonna push and slowly come back in. We're working our shoulders and our chest here, okay? We are gonna do 10 of these together. Everybody ready? So we're gonna go out and back in, and out and back in, and out and back in. Are you breathing? Is everybody breathing? Make sure you're going in your nose and out your mouth. Now we talk about this a lot when we work out. Let me back up because I realized like half my head's been up. Um, it's not about going fast. We build our muscles when we go slowly and we use the right form, okay? So nice and slowly. Is anybody counting? What number are we at? Let's say that this is six. Keep going, seven, nice, John. John, get those arms nice and straight. Everybody's arms straight up, no bend. Two more. There you go, John. Last one, bring them back in. Sophia, bring them down by, by your wrist, please. Yeah, bring the band down by your wrist and then do it. I know they're a little tricky, guys. There you go, there you go, nice job. This is all new, so all of this is just gonna be practice. Okay, shake out your shoulders. Now we're gonna do, everybody's gonna get down on their knee and we're gonna do bicep curls. We gotta get these muscles nice and big, okay? So what we're gonna do, you're on two knees, pick one knee up, okay? So you've got like a nice little table. And I want you, oh, uh, no, we'll keep with the green one. Put it under your foot, okay? And I'm gonna ask Karen, to show me grid view right here so I can make sure everybody has it under their foot. Let me see. Yep, are we good? Under one foot. Thomas, do you have it under your foot? Nice. Some of you I can't see, so I'm gonna assume you probably do. Okay, so whatever leg you have it on, use that same arm, okay? and you're gonna grab it, and you can go ahead and make a fist. Okay, can you see what I'm doing? And then, just watch for a second before you do it, we're gonna keep our elbow really close to our body, and we're gonna curl it up. So you should feel it right here in your bicep. And we're just go up and down. Now you're gonna get just as much of a workout going down slowly as you are going up. Okay, so really take your time. Everybody ready? How do we look, Karen? Let's see, it looks pretty good, like everybody's ready. Okay, let's do 10 on one side. Okay, ready? One, go nice and slowly with me. Two, three, keep that elbow tucked in. We don't want it out here, otherwise we're losing that exercise. Five, nice, nice, nice job. Very nice. Keep breathing. Keep going. Nice, Cheryl. Two more, everybody. Nine, ten. I don't see Willow doing. Oh, there's Willow doing it. Okay, awesome. You should already feel that. I don't know about you guys, but I already felt that in my arm. So now we're gonna do the same thing. We can't do something on the right side and not do it on the left side. So go ahead and take it out, switch your leg. I just turned so you can see what I'm doing. You put it on your other leg, put it under your foot, right in the middle of your foot, and grab it with the same arm as the leg that has it, okay? And Karen, let me know when everybody looks good. Let's see. All right, Charlotte, you ready? Can you get the band? 
On your foot and get ready to stretch. Let's see, we flash. You ready, buddy? Okay. Yeah, everything. Nice. Good. All right. Okay. Here's what's really important. We didn't say the last one. Make sure you are, I guess, standing slash kneeling straight. We don't want to be bent over, otherwise we're not using our muscle. So make sure your back's nice and straight. Everybody, pull your elbow in and let's do ten. Are we ready? Curl up. One. Two, nice and slowly. Three, keep breathing everybody. Feel those muscles growing. Well, Lena, can I see you do it? I can stretch I mean, it. Do what? I can stretch it. Yeah, put it under your foot, honey. Keep I going everybody, have... let's do three more. Charlotte, can you put it under your foot? Yep, there you go. Put it under your foot. Grab it with your hand. Good. Curl up. Let's do one more, everybody. One more. Nice job. Okay, gently bring your hand down and bring it out from under your foot. And guess what? We just did our arms. Shake them out, everybody. Woo! That already feels good. Okay, we're going to move on to our legs. So I want you to put your green one down and grab your yellow one. Now, the reason why we're switching is because our yellow one, if you notice and put your hands in, it's a little harder to stretch. So that means it's gonna be a little bit more of a workout and our legs are stronger than our arms. So our legs can handle this. Now, let's go one foot in, other foot in. And we're gonna put it right below our knees. Okay, this one's super easy to put on. So step right inside of it, like you're putting on a pair of pants. And don't put it on your knees, put it below your knees. We don't wanna hurt our knees. Everybody good? How do we look, Karen? Well, let's see, all right. Uh, John looks great, Charlotte, Olivia, you got it. Uh, Kieran, think you've got it? Yep, yeah. okay, and Quinn. Awesome. Looking good. Okay, so everybody, start with just a little bit, your leg just a little bit apart. You already are gonna feel that the band is stretching. And I want you to make sure you're pulling your belly button in and standing up nice and tall, like your head's gonna go through the roof. And what we're gonna do here is we're going to kick out to the side. And we're gonna work this part of our leg, which we often don't work a lot, but guess what? We use it so much when we're running. So it's important to have strong outer legs. Now, this could be a little hard on balance. So if you need to hold a wall, when you kick out, go right ahead. Or a chair or a couch or whatever. But I really encourage you to try at first, work on your balance. If you fall, just like in yoga, no big deal. We just get up and we do it again, okay? So why don't you put your hands on your hips? That's a tendency to help us with our balance. And we're gonna do 10 on our right side and then 10 on our left side, okay? So let's start with our right. Everybody just move your leg up to the side, good. Like you're pushing something over. Really squeeze that tush. That's what's gonna help our leg to get up there. Nice and slowly. If you go slowly, you're gonna be able to keep your balance. Good. Five, sorry, you know I always forget where we're at. So we might be doing extra, woo! Even I got wobbly, it happens. Just get back in your spot and we'll try it again. Six, keep breathing. Who can do this while smiling? That's the key. Come on, Diego, let me see you do it. There you go. Two more on the right side. One more, Kieran. Nice, Kieran, pull it below your knees, good. Okay, everybody come back to center. I was doing mine extra hard with the okay, blue. Okay, good, that's great. And now we're gonna do our left side. Okay, you ready? Take a breath. Up and down. Try and stay as still as you can as you kick out to the side. Maybe it's like a ball's coming at you from the side and you're trying to kick it. There we go. I just saw you, Olivia. You were doing it. You got Olivia. Let me see you kick to the. There you go. 
Nice. Six. Nice and slowly. Step nice, John. Eight. Let's do two more. Come on, John. Let me see you do another one. Yes. One more, everybody. Ten. Awesome. Now, don't get out of your band. I want you all to wobble. Keep the band where it is. Wobble and go get your water. <laughs> Let's take a sip before we do our next one. Nice. And then wobble back and put your water down. Okay, grab with this on. Don't lose this one. Keep this one on. And I want you to grab your green one. Now we're gonna do a really fun exercise. I actually just came up with this and I'm pretty excited about it. I don't know if you guys know this, but I love dinosaurs. And Mike loves the T-Rex. He loves their little arms and that they're always kind of wobbling around with these tiny arms. So we're all gonna be a T-Rex. So I want the yellow one below your knees and spread your legs nice and wide and kind of bend because you know, a T-Rex doesn't stand up straight. It's always in running position because it's always looking for food, right? And then I want you to take your green one, put it back around your wrist like we did before and pull your arms in so you have little T-Rex arms. Let me see everybody's little T-Rex arms. Nice, those look so good. Now, I want you to spread your arm, your hands. See how far apart my hands are? But my elbows are in at my side. Because T-Rex don't have big arms like this. They have little arms. So bring your elbows in and spread those arms and spread the legs. And now everybody turn your hands so they look like T-Rex claws. Let me see everybody's T-Rex claws. Yes! Okay, and I want you to take little steps forward like a T-Rex. Let me hear your T-Rex. And when you get super close to the camera, I want you to take steps backwards. But the whole time, keep those legs spread and keep those hands out. And then come back forward. Who has the best T-Rex roar? Let me hear it. Let me hear yes, I need to get the red band. I'm going to get yes. hard. Yes, I did. Red band. Night nice band. Red one. Okay, keep going. We're going to do this two more times. And when you get to the camera, Quinn, can I see you do it? <laughs> Put your arms in there, Quinn. You're a good actor. Let me see you be a T Rex. Great. And then go back. This time, our last time. I want you to bend really low. We see the most delicious dinosaur in front of us. So get really low like you're about to run. And get those hands nice and ready. And we're going to go after it. So everybody go after it. It's dinner time. Get it, yum. And now go back and eat it. Yes, Malena. Yeah, just yeah. like a plane, capture the flag. OK. The Go ahead and take your green one off and shake your arms out. Because that was a lot on our arms, right, guys? Okay. We're going to keep our yellow one on. We are done with our legs. We did our arms. We did our legs. What do we have left? Our core. So I want you to get down on your knees. We're going to get into plank. And I want to see some really amazing planks. Because, guys, We've been doing planks for like six months straight. So you're all ready. And in our planks, you're gonna just pull the band down, pull it down as you're down on your hands and knees to your feet. So can you see? I have my ankles. All right, so get it all the way down to your ankles. And then you can wait to get in the plank until we start so that you don't get too tired. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna get up in the plank and then we're gonna step to the left Step back, step to the right, step back. We're just gonna go back and forth as far out as we can so that we're really getting a workout in our legs and in our core for this one. This is like the Mac Daddy and our arms. This is really just a great workout all around, okay? So everybody get in the plank and we're gonna start together. Karen is gonna tell me when everybody's ready. Yeah. So when she sees everybody in plank, we'll go. Yeah. And then we're gonna count to 20. So we're gonna do 
Mom, may it should be more. You just can't do them until I tell you we're at it. How about we do that, okay? So we're gonna do like 10 on each side. All right, everybody, get into plank. Yep, Tom. Okay, Tom is great. John, can you get into plank? Looks Remember, so I don't want your butt up in the air like this. Right. Watch downward dog, that's not plank. Okay, so bring yeah. your hips down so your hips and your shoulders and your back are all in one nice line. Are we ready, Karen? Looks great. Everybody's ready. Okay, guys. We're going to go step to the left, step back in, step to the right, step back in, step to the left, step back in, step to the right, step back in. Now, I want you to keep going. How still can you be as you do this? That means our hips shouldn't be going side to side like this. They should be nice and still. If you find that your hips are kind of coming up in a downward dog, that's okay, just bring them back down. Now, if you are doing an awesome plank and you're feeling good, go ahead and go fast. How fast can you go? Nice, we're gonna do three more on each side. That's one, keep breathing. Two, one more on each side. Three, awesome, put your knees down. Wow, I don't know about you guys, but I am sweating, woo! We have one more exercise. Okay, this one's fun, you guys are gonna like this. So everybody keep the yellow on your feet, like this, on your ankles, and turn around. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lie on our back, and we're gonna do flutter kicks. So what this is gonna look like, let me make sure everybody can see me, is I'm gonna pick my feet up and I'm just gonna kick like this. Now, there are a couple modifications you can do. And I'd like you to try and do it the way we're gonna do it. And then if you can go even farther, go ahead, okay? So we're gonna start on the ground, but if you're feeling super strong and you can lift your head and your shoulders up and your hands up, you can do that. If you want to put them behind you, you can do that. If that's too much, just lie on the ground and you can kick this way. Now, Karen, we're going to do this for 20 seconds. Do you think you can start a timer for us? Yes, just give me a few moments to set this up. 20 seconds, you said? 20 seconds. All right, you tell me when you want me to start. Okay, everybody on their back. How are we looking, Karen? Are they all on their back? Uh, it looks pretty good. Yeah, I think so. All right. Okay. Everybody pick your feet up. Karen, go ahead and start it. Okay, here we go. Three. And you think like you're walking on the wall. One leg up, the other leg up. One leg up, the other leg up. If you're feeling super strong, pick your head and your shoulders up. Yes. Keep going, wow. keep that belly button in, protecting our back. Two. One, all right. Wow. Wow. Woo. That was awesome. Go ahead and take your band off. Everybody grab some water. Okay. Whoa. I, we're I gonna take some water because we're band. actually not done. I have one last surprise exercise for us. So, <laughs> and this one you can do with both or you can do with just one. It's pretty hot, right? You guys sweating? So I feel like right now it would be super amazing to go swimming. So we are gonna pretend like we are going swimming. So go ahead, if you took your yellow one off, Put it back around your ankles, and then you can turn over, okay? Then we're gonna get down on our stomachs like we're floating in the water. Okay, let me see, is everybody getting down? Now, you don't have to start yet. Let me show you what we're gonna do. This surprise exercise is gonna help our back, which is really important for running and just important for everything in life, right? We need a strong spine to have a strong body. So we're gonna reach our hands out like we're swimming. Reach your legs back. Then we're gonna pick our legs up, 
our arms up, our head up, and we're gonna swim. Okay, so we're gonna see who can swim the farthest. Are we ready? And Karen, I think we could do 30 seconds for this. What do you think? I think so, for sure. Totally. So when everybody's ready, let me see everybody get in their swim position. And Karen, you let me know when we're good to go. Hey, Charlotte, can you get in the swimming position? All right, good. I think everybody's ready. To everybody's ready? Okay. Are we ready to swim as fast as we possibly can for 30 seconds? Karen, we're ready. You tell us when to go. Three, two, one, go. Swim. Swim. Pick those legs up. Pick the arms up. Pick the head up. And swim. Yeah, you want to go to the side a little. You can do that. Whatever type of swimming. Just keep swimming. There you go. Keep going. Swim. Keep going. Who's smiling while they're doing this? Keep going. Five. Keep going. Three, two, Woo! one. Wow. Oh, awesome. Down on your legs now. Nice job. Okay, I think we earned a child's pose. So, for those of you who have not done our yoga with us, this is a super great relaxing pose. We're gonna stay on our knees like this and then just go forward. Let me move over so that your head is on the ground. And just stretch those arms forward like this. And just relax for a second. Let your body just rest and catch its breath. Take deep breaths in and let them out. Then you can rock back and forth a little bit. Kind of stretch that out. Nice. Okay, let's sit up. And we're gonna end with a couple stretches. So we're gonna sit on our bottoms. And we're gonna do the same stretch we did standing. Let me do it this way so you can see. But we're gonna do it on the ground. So put your yellow band around the ball of your foot. And the ball of your foot is just a little bit above the center. So it's not the toes and it's not the center. It's right in between. That kind of fatty, smushy part is. And then we're just gonna grab it with our hands and we're gonna pull our foot toward us. So keep your legs straight and just pull your toe. We don't want our leg to come off the ground. We're keeping our leg on the ground and just pulling our toes. Now you can lean forward just like we did when we were standing and get an even bigger stretch. Nice, keep breathing. Okay, bring your arms forward to let it go and let's do it on the other side. Good, put it around the ball of your foot like I have it here. Keep your leg on the ground straight and pull it towards you. Nice job, really stretch those legs. Nice. Okay, let your arms go so you can take it out. And we're just gonna stretch our arms up like this and just shake off all that water that we had on us from swimming. Shake it off. We gotta be nice and dry before we go get dinner. And then you can bring your arms out in front of you and shake it off. Nice. And then we take it out and we'll just do another shake off. Okay, let's get one more sip of water, everybody. Awesome job. How was that? How does everybody feel? Let me take a look. I see a lot of water, which is awesome.